Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Nescafe Dolce Gusto Genio S coffee machine. At the time of recording, I picked this up from Amazon for just under £60. If you want to pick this up, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I've also reviewed other coffee machines on my channel. I'll leave a link to a playlist in the card above and in the description box below. A few things to point out, auto start, stop, play and select. This makes hot and cold drinks, XL function, so you can make large cup drinks. 15 bars, max pressure, eco mode. That basically means after one minute, the machine would go off if you are not using it. I'll take everything out. We'll have a look at everything that's included. Of course, we'll do a clean cycle and then we'll make a coffee at the end as well. Remember, if the video does help you out, a thumbs up would be appreciated and subscribe to watch more reviews. Okay, on with the video. The first thing out of the box, some paperwork. Welcome to a world of great coffee. Let me know all the different coffees they do. Limited warranty. Make sure to register online. You get two years guarantee with this. Safety instructions. And then an instruction booklet. Get me started. Ah, oh, it's one of them uh, crappy instructions like the Tassimo had. At the back of the coffee machine, you get a fixed cord. I like the colour on this, the colour on this and the white machine, they do match. They do two other models, there's an S Plus I think it is, an S something else. They come in different colours and they have slightly different function buttons at the top. This is the cheapest one out of the range. Normally I think this is around £80. 0.8 litre water tank capacity, which is removable by just pull it out. That's the lid there. Again, these are all washable. And the tank, if you can see, it's got a little catch there and there's a max line at the top there as well. And that would fit at the back of the end of the machine. That would go on. That. Nothing much on the side, just some branding. Turn it around this side, nothing there. At the bottom, it's got some rubber feet there to hold it into place. It's got a QR code there as well. This is the cup holder slash drip tray. It's got some branding there. It fits down there. If you're using a smaller cup, it would fit over here. Moving up, if I lift this up, if I get the pod holder out, in here you could see it's got this thing here, that's to use with your water cycles. When you do your clean water cycle or you do your descaling, so try not to lose that. The pods would go in there. Leave that in there for now because I will be doing the clean water cycle. Onto the control panel, that's warm water or cold water because of course this makes cold drinks as well leave it on warm this cup symbol that's start stop and this here it's how much water you need on the pods it will let you know whether you need to keep this on five or whether you need to keep it on one that's just a guide you can of course move it up or down but you adjust that by turning the dial and at the top here xl that's of course for extra large coffees and then if you keep turning it when it goes to that's that will start flashing once the machine needs descaling and you are able to get descaling solutions from the manufacturer's website or Amazon. Leave it there for now. Okay, I've explained everything about the machine. Now what I need to do is I need to run a clean cycle. I'll go fill the tank up, bring it back, we'll run a clean cycle and then once the clean cycle is finished, then after that I'm able to make my drink. I've washed the water tank, just put it in there. As I explained before, it goes on one way. Just get the biggest cup you can find. I'm obviously using a jug. Yeah. Turn it right to the top, leave it on hot water, and just push the start. I'll let this cycle finish and then I'm going to do another one. It doesn't say in the booklet whether to do one or two, but from my past experience with the other machines, it's best to do it a couple of times. So I'll be back in a bit. I just thought I'd quickly point this out. I was running the cycle and the machine has stopped. And as you can see, the lights have gone off and it's only let that much water out. But because it's a new machine, I'm going to do a full cycle. So I'm going to put it on the full again at the top 
and I'm going to press start again and I'm going to do that until the tank is completely empty and I'm going to refill the tank up again and do it one more time. I'm going to let it go completely empty before I make my coffee. I've completed the cleaning cycle, I've put some fresh water in, now I'm able to make my coffee. I'm making a Starbucks caramel macchiato. I just wanted to point out on the box there it's showing us we need a mug that's going to be 200 milliliters in size. 170 milliliters for the milk and 30 milliliters for the coffee. I've taken two pods out, one's white, which is the milk, that always goes in first. And then this one is of course the coffee. And on the machine, I need to set that on number five. And when I put the coffee in, I need to set on number one. But of course, these are just their reference. You are able to move them up or down if you want, but I'm going to stick by these for now. Time to make a coffee. I have a 230 milliliter mug here, which is more than enough for what they recommend. the milk in first and it would only go in one way of course it's made a little hole in it need to pick number five leave it in hot of course and then just push the start button That smells delicious. As you can see it's flashing. We wait till it stops flashing. That was really quick. And then I put the coffee next. Be careful with that, it's going to be hot. Put the coffee in now. Number one, just press start. It stopped flashing. I'm still leaving the mug there because it's dripping. And there we go, it's finished. All I need to do is add sweetener or sugar, or nothing in fact, because it'd be sweet enough. This coffee machine is a compact size. If you have less space in your kitchen, this would fit perfectly. You can get lots of different drinks to use with this machine. It's really easy to use, makes delicious drinks. If you buy coffee every day, this will save you a lot of money. Hope you found the video useful. Any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Do subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.